Hello and welcome back to Learn Penang Hokkien. In this lesson, we learn to use he, she, and it. He is e, she is also e, it is also e. All three sound the same. However, in the written form, they are written differently. Because of this, the written form of Penang Hokkien is more precise in rendering meaning than the spoken form. This form of E is the masculine form. We use it for men, for males, as well as a general pronoun for people of undetermined gender, for example, the teacher, the judge, the chef, and so on. We also use it for male animals. This form of E is the feminine pronoun. We use it for women and females, as well as for female animals. This form of E is a neutral pronoun. We do not use this for people. Instead, we only use it for animals and for objects. We use this form of pronoun for animals of undetermined gender. For example, the dog, the cow, and so on. If we know the gender of the animals, we use one of their earlier mentioned pronouns. E, E, and E do not change their tone in sentences. Therefore, if you write, he calls her, it is, e kyo e. She calls him, also sound the same, e kyo e. Again, the written form renders the meaning more precisely than the spoken. He has a dog. He calls it. E u kao, e kyo e. The three pronouns show us the gender of their each of them. With these three forms of the pronoun, we can write sentences that are quite precise. For example, he can't sell her his horse because she can't buy it. In Penang Hokkien, e be be e e e be ingwe e be be e. And to recap, e e and e sound the same when spoken. Use e for males or people of undetermined gender and for male animals. Use e for females and female animals. Use E for animals of undetermined gender and for objects. And so that concludes this lesson. I hope to see you again. Until then, come salute, JJ.